Hello everyone, my name is Zero Computer Man and welcome to another unboxing slash review video. That was an awesome intro. Thank you. Very good. So today what I have for you guys is this portable speaker, specifically a touch lamp portable speaker. Excuse that voice crack. And this is something sent to me by Rymemo. Rymemo. Again, still butchering that name. They did give me a pair of uh, headphones before, if you do remember that video. If you don't, you know, click that video in the top right corner. I don't ever remember which one it is, so it's one of these. So, yeah. They sent me this again. Thank you guys once again for this. I will review this video throughout the week like I always do with everything else. Or, you know, longer because I can't ever really keep a schedule. So, let's get right to it. And today, I... Just have to say, this packaging a lot better than the other, uh, than the headphones packaging. I actually like this a lot. It's clean, it's nice, it's a little bit damaged, but that's just, you know, shipping, it's not their fault. Uh, here we say the music player, it's a night light, it's hands-free calling, and a TF card player. So, I guess that's good. Three levels of light touch lamp. You guess you, it's a magic speaker, I guess you touch it on the top. Yeah, it's portable speaker, all of that. Oh, and back here, the specifications. Gives you output power, all that, you know, normal stuff that you might need. But yeah, you got, we're all, we got the white color, red or blue. I guess we got the white. All right, so let's just open up this bad boy. Here we go. And, all right. First thing we're introduced with, is the manual. Of course, one size in Chinese. That's how you always gotta do it. All right, so the manual we can take a look at later if we really want to because, you know, we don't really use the manual. Then we have this nice protective padding here and the thing itself. Oh, we also have some wiring in here. Okay, so we got the usual micro USB to charge. We have, what else is in here? Oh, aux cord. All right, that's that's good. I'm glad they gave this to us. You know, I have aux cords and all that, but it's good that if you don't have an aux cord for some reason because you don't live in 2016, you know, they give you one. So that's perfect. I'm just gonna put this to the side. I'm not really gonna be using it right now. And yeah, it seems like that is it. There's just more protective padding at the bottom. So yeah, here's here it is. Speaker on the top. Pretty big speaker actually. Uh, lamp. Turn it down here, and there's this little latch. I guess you can hang this or carry it like the lamp, like it would be. You know, if you don't want to use it for a speaker, you can just use it for a lamp, I guess. But yeah, here. Uh, we have these buttons, we have mode, we have uh, go back and volume, you know, volume buttons to go up and down, pause, or play, and power. Uh, I'm gonna power it on right now, see how it how it powers on, I guess, if it's even charged. Oh, yep, there's a nice little guitar strings there. Uh, there was a blue LED that, you know, got was on there. Um, oh, okay, there we go, it lit up. That's awesome. It, it's uh, white light right now. Top. Oh, it's get, it's getting brighter. All right, so we got off, we got little light, medium, and a lot. Uh, I'm gonna turn off some lights right now and see if you guys can see this better. So we have we have this. Oh, and now it's red. It's blue and it's green. I mean, oh, purple! Holy crap! Oh, we got a whole bunch of colors. Okay. All right. I'm sure you guys can see that pretty well. Bluetooth mode has been on. What is that voice? Okay, so it's trying to pair to something. There's the guitar strings again. And yeah, um, where's the regular lamp? I was trying to show you the Bluetooth mode has been. How do I... Okay, well, I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna turn these lights back on. And 
Okay, so yeah, I don't really know how to change it back to regular, to the regular light lamp. So, you know. Yeah, all right, so we got a whole array of colors here. We have red, we have blue, we have green, we have purple, we have this aqua, and we have another green. And then, oh. So yeah, I will be testing this out because I'm actually very curious about the sound quality because like a portable speaker, not all of them are good because it is portable, it's compact, it's not always the best, but I feel like this has a lot of promise. Like this feels pretty nice. And I see some protective wrapping on here. You know, the really satisfying kind that you just feel off. It's always so satisfying to peel off that stuff. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how I feel about this in the next part of the video, which will be right about now, I guess. All right guys, so it has been a week or so, and sorry for the, you know, different setup and all here now, but gotta do what we gotta do. So I have a lot to say about this touch lamp Bluetooth speaker, all right? The, this speaker wasn't, I wasn't expecting much for, you know, its size and the fact that it is also a lamp. But, you know, whatever. Also, I figured out that it can just change through all the colors that it has. Actually looks very, very nice. I like it a lot. And, you know, just, just hold it and it'll go off. Like, it'll start out with, uh, you know, regular lighting. Just hold it. It'll change the colors. Just tap it once to change through all the colors. But hold it again, and you get this change its colors, it'll be all pretty and everything, and it'll be amazing. It looks great. Good for decoration if you want it. You could even hang it up on your wall just like so, from the little provided handle on the end. But you can also set it, it does have this rubber ring around it so it does not slide around on some surfaces, which is amazing because it would just suck to have this just fall and, you know, break. Now, that's enough about the display and everything. Let's talk about the sound. So, the sound quality, um, like I said, didn't expect much. And that's kind of what I got. Uh, you can't really hear it, even at full volume, believe me, I tried everything. You can't hear it that far away. So if you're planning to throw a party and this is all you have, yeah, you better find another thing. Because this is not going to cut it. This does not have a lot of range, okay? It will not be that loud, believe me. Another thing that was a problem is the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth, it connects, it's fine, it works. But you walk away and it just starts skipping from the song, it just starts stuttering, and it just goes away. Now I know what you're thinking, but Oswaldi, what? Of course if you walk away from Bluetooth, it's gonna disconnect, but no. This is different, okay? This, this, I walked away just a couple feet and I started skipping and stuttering and all that crap that happens with Bluetooth when you go far away. It does not have that good of ring. So, you either connect it with your, with the aux cord that is provided in the back or an SD card and that would also work. Or, you know, just set the Bluetooth to something, I don't know, just set your phone at the side, just set your phone right next to the speaker, and then you want to have a problem, but then you also want to use your phone while listening to music because you need to get stuff done because you are a productive person, but you can't do that. Why? Because you can't walk away from this. It is portable, so you can just carry it around with you, and it'll still connect, but Sometimes you don't want to just carry this whole thing around and you want to have it really close. And if you do have the volume all the way up, really close, it's extremely loud. But far away, it's not it's not that it's not that good. Like like I said, a couple feet. It's a couple feet. Um I like the mode changed on here, but 
I don't get what's the point of that because you're just gonna be listening. It just turns Bluetooth on, but I don't get it. Like, I'm pretty sure you can just use the aux cord, or if you wanted to, just have it automatically in there. I don't. Whatever, it's fine. I did not try the calling because I didn't really get a chance to do that. I think the microphones are right at the front there. You can see there's two holes, one right there, one right there. But, didn't get to use it. Sorry to say, so I can't really tell you about that quality or anything like that. One more thing uh, about the sound. Not a lot of bass. It doesn't, it's not, eh. It's, it's okay, the sound is okay, you can understand everything, it sounds clear, it's, it's pretty loud if you're just like right next to it, but other than that, whatever. I do, however, I will recommend this if you are using it just to go, like say you're going to the beach, alright, you need some portable music, you need some music around. Just put that down on your spot in the sand or whatever, it's all good. And just start playing your music, it's fine. It's all good, like if you're just gonna have a small get together, do that. But if you're throwing a big party or something that you need a lot of sound, try to get something at least a little bit bigger. Maybe not something portable, because portable stuff aren't really the best options for sound quality and loudness. I mean, there's some pretty good ones, but they're kind of expensive. This is very affordable, but it is very good for its price. So I would recommend this if you're just if you just need a portable speaker, which I often see people just walking around with their speakers in their hands, just playing music. So there's not really that big of a problem there. So this would actually work for that. So. Do I recommend this speaker? Yes and no. I recommend this speaker only if you plan to have a small to get together, you just listen to music by yourself, it's all good. But if you plan to have a big party with a lot of people, there's gonna be a lot of noise, I definitely do not recommend this. I recommend you get a bigger speaker, something maybe not portable because Portable speakers aren't the best for parties anyways, so yeah, but if you're just looking to listen to music whenever you want, have it easy to take around and everything, this I definitely recommend, it also looks very nice, especially with all the colors and different things you can do with it, and look at this, it even changes colors, I like that about it. This is more for decoration, and you know, it's pretty cool, it's like, oh, I got a speaker that is also a lamp, and look at this beautiful design, it can change colors, so yeah. Is it a bad speaker? No. It's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty nice speaker. It's just not the whole best. It's not the best that there's out there, but it is pretty good for its price. So you know, uh, you can definitely find it in the link in the description if you want to buy it or just check it out. Whatever you know, just go give us a love. Um, so yeah, thank you once again, and I hope you enjoyed this review for this touchland speaker. Bye.